Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. This is Despotism. You get the picture. Let's get started. Booyah. All right. Um, yeah, I've decided that I'm pretty committed to this um, to this whole double breeding strat from uh, from the first from the first uh, well, I guess from the start really. Uh, I'll take you out of there, put you two guys into here, and then let's move people into power production. There we go. I really am trying very, very hard to get this achievement, which, uh, which, which allows me to breed enough people. That is, that is a priority for me. Uh, also, producing enough power, that's also somewhat of a priority, I would say. So we'll get on that right now. Okay, swap you two guys out, and then two more in. Perfect, and then let's bioreact. Let's bioreact everyone that we can, actually. But just one for now, I think. Okay, swap in, swap in some more people, and there we go. Uh, let's get another another arm. That would be a good use of resources. One, two, three people into the bioreactor just quickly. It will allow us to uh, to have a little bit of extra food, which is rather nice. Let's also get an upgrade to the power generator. Let's also get an upgrade to the stamina if we can today. Okay. Get an upgrade to stamina? Yeah, let's get an upgrade to stamina. It's gonna take us a little bit close to the edge, but that's fine. I mean, the first day is never really, truly challenging. Uh, it's always just fine. I know I am chucking a couple of people who have yellow health bars into the into the bioreactor, but that's fine. I'd much rather us not hit the limit, so to speak. I don't want to hit the limit of, uh, of people. That is somewhat of an issue. And I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to go through the red zone, which I don't normally do, because I'm conscious of the fact that if we want to try and get enough people, enough enough people produced, if we want to produce the 30 people that we have to produce, uh, then we're going to have to keep on fighting through. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Got to go fast. Our calculations show that the wheel can be rotated fast as, twice as fast, producing more power. Um, roll it. Curse is a human splattered all of the wheel. Power generation speed reduced by 17%. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's fine, actually. That's not terrible, because that means that that set up, sets us up for another achievement, actually. Why was it the human in the breeding chamber that was slowed down? To me, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, uh, let's get that upgraded. Let's also get the breeding tube upgraded. Can we get the breeding tube upgraded today safely? I don't know. I don't know if we can do it safely. We might not even be able to do it at all. We'll give it a crack, though. No, I don't think we would have managed. I think we can do it now. I am going to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Let's put two more in, and then let's immediately start chucking people into the bioreactor. In fact, I'm even going to take this boy out of food production and put him into the bioreactor instead. I think we should be just fine. And again, it's all about hitting that magical number of 30 people per day. Which we are trying very, very hard to get. Prioritizing everything. Here we go. Uh, come on, two more people. There we go. Okay, that might have cost us. That might have cost us. Uh, that might have cost us it, but it's fine. That was a long, that was a long delay. And power production being down by 17% doesn't exactly help things. Doesn't exactly help things at all. I'll get that as an upgrade. Perfect. Chuck everyone else right in the bin. Beautiful. One person into food production. Another person into power production. And that'll take us up to six people in power production. And we'll just swap people out as and when they become available. Because, of course, we want to make sure that we're not hoarding too many people in the storage chamber. Because otherwise, we're going to hit that, uh, we're going to hit that cap. And we do not want to hit that cap. There we go. Keep on doing it. I'm going to continue to work through just on the off chance that we can hit this achievement. Really, really hopeful. 30 people. That's all we need to do. Gonna let these people die out, because I really want to make sure that we've got enough space. Get the achievement, get the achievement. Maybe. Maybe we didn't get it. 
Uh, but there's a terrible heat wave instead. Send a big group of humans. Send a big group of humans. Um, and let's enslave them. Brotherhood of Lead turned out to be fearsome warriors. You finished them off losing 10 humans. You did find an air conditioner. The sacrifice was not in vain. The heat is of no concern to you. Yeah, I, I didn't know how to tackle that. Uh, yikes. Okay. That was somewhat of a big deal, actually. The heat wave isn't a problem. Um, but honestly, at this rate, I would have actually preferred a heat wave because, well, we're stuck with a situation which, which means that we lost a whole bunch of our humans. Um, and it's not like that, that is going to improve, uh, at any huge rate. I'm going to actually remove one person from the wheel and I'm going to put a second person into the breeding chamber. Uh, just so that we can start producing people much, much faster. It's going to be kind of close, actually. Put him into the to the energy wheel. Yeah, you'll survive. All right, next two people that we get going straight into the breeding chamber. Want to make absolutely sure that we can rebuild our uh, our supplies of humans. There we go. Just like that. Got three people that are on red HP. It's not ideal. In fact, this might be this might be it for us actually. This could be it. Put them both into both into the wheel. Maybe I'll see if I can recycle this guy. Oh, I don't think we're gonna don't think we're gonna do it. We did it just barely. Um, we've now got a much harder task. But apparently, we can do it. We can do it quite comfortably. Okay, good. Oh, whoops. I lost I lost the person. It's fine. It's fine. Next day. Shredded human faces on the walls and bits of human brains. Suspect there might be a serial killer among the humans. Okay. Is he going to kill people? If that's the case, cool. I want to see what's what's going to happen. Murdering someone during every feeding. I mean, it's not exactly what I want to, to have happen, but I guess it's kind of fun. Um, sure. Yikes. Yikes, that is not a, not a great position to be in. The breeding chamber is in fact a death zone with a, with a serial killer. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Okay, um, there we go. Two more people into the breeding chamber. I mean, do I have to kill this guy? I don't, okay, I guess I'll kill him, right? Sure, I'll kill him. I, I don't really know if there, if that's a big deal or not. But we got rid of the serial killer. Hooray. I'm, I'm really, really good at killing uh, at killing the people that have got like special modifiers. I would just like to put that out there. I manage almost every time to, uh, to do it spectacularly. Uh, thankfully, we um, don't have many people to feed. We are managing to survive just about on, uh, on shredding people. Maybe if I shred one more person, we'll be just about fine. 170 to get human storage upgraded to the next level. Somebody died in there. Whoops, my bad. Uh, shred you. Yep, cool. I want to get more people into the breeding chamber. That is definitely something to do. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Yep, perfect. Next. Hopefully, we'll be able to maintain our food production levels. And we'll go to the next day. Ancient Manuscript. Uh... Spend 140 power on cryptography. Food generator produces more food now. Great. How much more food? 20% more food. Um, cool, I guess. That's kind of nice. Um, it's not a, not a big deal, but it is what it is. Okay. One more person into the energy production area. Yeah, we still need to devote more people to food production, I think. We need to devote pretty much more people to, to pretty much everywhere. There we go. Three people into the, or two people into the bioreactor, should I say? Goodness me, why am I not? Why am I not allowing people to? Uh... Is this it for us? Oh my goodness, that was really, really disappointing. That was, honestly, a complete nightmare. Okay, um. 
I am not going to prioritize breeding. I'm not going to prioritize it like I did last time. I mean, it's all right. It doesn't really doesn't really hurt us. Doesn't really hinder us. But it's not exactly ideal. Uh, Thirty power for arms. Yeah, sure. Let's get some more arms. It's a little bit dicey, really, for us right now. But that's okay. Um, the first day is always super fine. We're we're always fine on the first day. I wish every day could be like the first day, because then we'd be totally, totally fine. Man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, I wish every day was like the first day. Um, anyway, yeah, that last run, very, very disappointing. I wasn't in the zone. I felt like I just wasn't, I wasn't giving the game the respect that it deserved. And that was fundamentally what, what, um, what lost it for me. I was just mucking around. It was a disaster. Uh, so this time, we're going to focus purely on making sure that we can, uh, that we can win. Well, I mean, I try to focus every time uh, on making sure that I can win. But now, more than ever, we need to make sure that we do actually win. Um, so let's stick some more folk into into there. Into the breeding chamber. Double the speed. Double the speed of breeding. Get an upgrade to the food generator. Sure, let's get an upgrade to the food generator. Let's do it. Let's chuck... Whoops, chuck two people into the, into the bioreactor. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, by the time they get processed, it'll give us, well, loads more uh, power, actually. I'll take that energy upgrade. I know that we can comfortably pull it off. Um, it might be worth us going after a power achievement. You can get achievement that say, uh, you know, never drop below, you know, 50% power in four days or whatever. That might be an idea for us. Let's go to the next day. Hey, you, hurry up and fix your monitor's wires. Uh, done. Phew, that was close. Glitches. I don't really know if glitches have a uh, positive interaction or if it's even possible for them to have a positive interaction. But I do know that if there is, you know, something to avoid in computing, it's probably a glitch. Um, oh, what do I want to do? I would love to get an upgrade to the power. I'm going to get an upgrade to the power. We're going to be fine. Yeah. And we're just going to uh, stick a couple more people into the power generation. Power generation side of things. There we go. Get one person out of there. One person in there, one person in there. Beautiful. All we need, right? All we need is a really, really good run. All we need is a really, really good run with a whole bunch of events that I understand, that I can manipulate, and that I can make work to my advantage. If that is the case, you know, if that ever happens, then, you know, we are going to be golden. But until that day, I, I, I suspect that we might, we might struggle somewhat. Looks like we're going to be fine for food now, which is quite nice. I am investing somewhat heavily in our um, food production. There we go. Uh, can get an upgrade to human storage today. Don't really want to do that quite yet, although we probably can and probably will be fine to do it today. And by today, I mean, of course, on this tick, should I, should I say. I, I, you know, I say today, but I mean on this tick. It's... It's fine. Boom. Swap you around. One person over there. Yeah, we're really not making very much food on our food generator. Not currently, anyway. wonder if there's anything that can really be done. Not much. We're slowly but surely climbing back up the food ladder. There we go. And, um... I guess we'll just go straight to the next day, actually. Partner con conversation. Suddenly a message appeared in the mainframe. Wake up, D sort. Someone hacked us. We need to shut it down. Uh, print Panzer. No tanks appeared. Strange. Follow the white rabbit. Hey, can you talk like a normal AI? Turns out it can. What a lovely family reunion with an order of my brother. It's it, it taught me how to store human power. Great. Special jars. That is great, 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 great stuff, actually. Um, okay, let's put... Let's put a bunch of people in there, actually. Um, because if we do... Okay, like, I could spend my power. I could spend my power right now. But if I don't spend my power, then I can continually invest people into... Into this, and it will get me... It will get me more power, theoretically. Because I'm upgrading a higher percentage. I don't know if I'm perhaps, like, crazy with that, but... It doesn't particularly matter. Um, 
maybe maybe that's a, a silly idea. Okay, let's let's cancel that idea for now. We can we can postpone that idea. But basically, my thought was is that if this is full, then you know we can basically put people directly into the chamber, and that will mean that we can just get that free power basically. Um, no biggie if that was in fact completely nuts. It doesn't particularly matter. It is what it is. Um, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, okay, things are fine. Things are fine. Could do with chucking a couple of people into the bioreactor, especially given our, our food state at the moment. Uh, we should probably try and invest a couple more people into actual food production, just to make sure that we're fine. We've not been we've not been on top of our food production during today's episode. Um, I don't really know why that is. Very, very weird indeed. Uh, can we get an upgrade to our arms? Yeah, let's get an upgrade to our arms. Can we get another upgrade to our arms? 230. We're not far off getting another upgrade to our arms, but we'd rather not anyway. Um, want to try and max out my... There we go. Max it out so we don't have to worry about it for the future. We are now fully storing a whole bunch of humans. Means that we get about, a what, 150 extra power, give or take, which is pretty nice, actually. Serial killer. You've identified him. Now all you need to do is catch him and send him to the bioreactor. And while loose, he'll do stuff. I mean, that's fine. I think. I don't think there is any benefit from keeping the serial killer around. Yeah, not as far as I'm aware, anyway. Cool. Well, let's just send all of the people in here to the bioreactor. We get an upgrade to the bioreactor just before we, you know, you know, spend a whole bunch of people. Uh, we might as well get a little bit of extra power for it. There we go. Okay, good stuff. 420 power is required to get the next upgrade to any of these things, except the food generator and, of course, the arms. Uh, let's get an upgrade to the arms right now, because that is probably probably one of the best things that we could do. We got six people generating food for us, which is nice. Um, nice, nice, nice. We're doing great on human production. We're doing fine on pretty much everything, actually. Yeah, can't really complain too, too much. Uh, everyone in the food generator is doing good work. Everyone in the breeding tube is doing great work. Everyone in human storage is costing me food, but not much that can be done about that. Okay. Yep, and let's just chuck everyone into the bioreactor. There we go. More people, please. The more, the merrier. Okay, great. Everyone in there. Everyone is dead. Um, cool. I don't think that we can get an upgrade. It sort of kind of d distorts the, the picture, so to speak. Uh, because we've got, you know, so much extra storage. But that's fine. It is it is what it is. Let's go to the next day. We just got an odd yellow electric mouse. It tried to rescue humans from a bioreactor. Let's use it to power storage. Let's dissect it and study it. Let's use it to power the storage. Let's use it to power the storage. You got 85 power and then ran out of mouse. It'd be useful to catch more of these four-legged batteries and somehow feels appropriate to catch them with metal balls. Hmm. Okay. Um, cool. Let's immediately get an upgrade to our power generator. Uh, so this is going to be a big investment over the course of the day that we're going to be making into our power generation facilities. Uh, hopefully we're going to be able to use that to power a whole bunch of upgrades today. Okay. One more. Right, and that that is that is a power generator that is fully stocked. Pretty much fully leveled. It's the highest level thing that we've got around, at least for now. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. 350 power in order to upgrade our arms. Not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. One, two, three... And then four, and then we're going to slice and dice all of these people because we don't actually need them in food production at this very moment in time. Yeah, beautiful. Whole bunch of people, whole bunch of people being uh, being put into the put into the reactor of of late. Still need four hundred and twenty power in order to get an upgrade. We might be able to get away with an upgrade today. I would like to get an upgrade to my human storage. That would be very very nice indeed. 225 power, so we need to get 225 power above 420, which is, well, now actually, we can get that upgrade comfortably. There we go. 
Um, human storage won't really change anything, not at least that matters anyway. Um, we'll still be quite alright, I would imagine. Uh, no need to get complacent, of course, but, you know, we're pretty, pretty fine, all things considered. Okay, get rid of you, get rid of you, and two more, and let's go to the next level. Frank, the puny human, suggests an improvement to the running wheel. Uh, let's see what he's invented. Uh, 100 power to apply the technology. All right, I'll bite. There we go, 18% faster. Beautiful, I love this upgrade. This is the best upgrade in the game. I mean, it's probably not, but it's the best upgrade that I know reliably <laughs> to get. Uh, which is quite, which is which is saying something, I guess. Uh, cool. Do we get an upgrade to any, any, any individual bits of our tech? 1,100 in order to get an upgrade to the power generator. I'd, um, I'd sell for an upgrade to the breeding tube. Yep, we'll get an upgrade to the breeding tube, sure. We'll do that right now. As uh, soon as the next human comes along, we'll stick him straight into the breeding tube. we got a maximum storage of 50 humans right now, so, you know, that's nothing to be sniffed at, all things considered. Next level of arms, we're not far away from that either. It's pretty good. Just gonna go through the motion uh, of replacing pretty much everyone in here. There we go. Everyone that's on red is getting a replaced, is getting a replaced, is getting a, a replacement. Okay, and then we're immediately going to chuck everyone into the bioreactor. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. That was pretty much exactly as intended. 420 power to get an upgrade to the bioreactor. I think that's probably the next on, next on the list of things to get upgraded. Sure. Um... I'll take you guys out and you guys out and put you in and then you in beautiful and then everyone else that we've just moved over to the bioreactor or should i say over to the human storage can be moved immediately to the bioreactor which is rather rather nice actually there we go and with that we're going quite comfortably into day seven which um yeah i mean feels kind of weird because i feel so comfortable but that's okay. I feel like that's it's okay to feel to feel good about these things once in a while. 1,100 power to get any of these to the next level. Um, we will get an upgrade to the food generator. We will get another upgrade to the food generator. And then, oh no, we won't get an upgrade to the to the arms as well. But you know that puts us not far off. One puny human died, but then stood up again and bit another's leg. Um, to the bioreactor with all the victims. I don't want zombies. I do not want zombies. I have no desire to get zombies. Anyway, ladies and gents, on that zombalicious note, we're going to finish up the episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obda Potato. This has been Despotism 3K. I'll see you next time. Bye.